Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. As always, we have a lot going on. The last grill uh, overlay style we did were our glow-in-the-dark ones. And now we're moving on to reflective because we had a customer request this. And because you guys like so many different things, such a wide variety of things, we decided to go with a printable media. So I don't know if you can see it in the sun right now, but they are printed on reflective material. All these will be printed in a high speed mode. So the tones might be a little bit lighter at times than the actual vehicle color. Uh, if you're doing the paint or close to paint matched options, um, just because we want to put a thin layer of color over that reflective material so that we still get that nice glow. Now, we tried some things out. Someone wanted all black. That's going to be the least reflective, naturally. Um, then we did uh, Area 51 and did a black outline, and that shined a little bit more. But I think the most popular thing, and what kind of looks really classic in style, uh, is the paint colors, or we'll do gloss black or whatever uh, in the middle as well, with the white uh, outline kind of has a white slash silvery look this material is often used on emergency vehicles because it's so reflective uh, especially at night it, it captures any light and kind of reflects it instead of absorbing it naturally that's how reflective material works now we are doing another installation video for this material because they suggest that we use a dry install and because we don't want you to have a bad experience i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a dry install. Let me get my stuff and I'll be right back. All right, so since we're doing a dry install, we don't have too many things. I have my speed wipe here, uh, no wax on this. Just gonna clean this area up. Let's get rid of those. I just put these on last night, kind of hastily. Just trying to test out the material. The vehicle is still really super dirty from our off-road event quite a while ago. That's when the alternator died, but Ford repaired it under warranty. It just took a little while to get that done. Um, kind of busy at our local dealership, but they did a great job. And ultimately, I got what I wanted, a vehicle that is able to be driven again. So let's try to clean as much of that adhesive off as possible. Should come off fairly easily with this chemical guy stuff. You kind of want to get in and around the logo. It will touch the edges in certain places, so make sure you clean a little bit wider than the application area. It is 77 degrees right now. I like installing vinyl between 70 and 80 degrees. We are in the shade, which is great for when it's warm. If you do this um, in the sun, it will change the way the vinyl reacts to pressure. It can make it stretch a lot. And we're not really full-fledged vinyl installers here, so we're not wrapped in the car. We're just Doing a nice little do-it-yourself overlay. So a lot of the issues we get are with customers that do final installs when it's really cold. You guys might want to apply a little heat or just do this in the garage or wait for a warmer day. Like I said, adhesive acts the best between 70 to 80 in my experience. So because we're doing a dry install, and because this material is so expensive, we're going to butt all these up against each other like usual. Uh, we'll probably give you two sets because it's not as expensive as the Glow, which you only get one on those. I just ask you to be really careful on those. You're also using a wet install. Um, this, you're going dry. So we will include some grid paper. Uh, we'll probably put it over one of the letters. Um, and basically, you will use that grid paper, push down firmly. Obviously, doing this against the grill of the vehicle is not the most ideal thing to do. And make sure that it comes off with the grid paper. Hopefully this doesn't blow away, a little breezy. And then you just line it up. You look through that grid paper, 
try to make sure you're on target even all around I look at the center of the O for this letter I'll push down the center and then we're gonna kind of just push outwards because since we're doing a dry install we have to try and get much as much of that air out as possible and we don't have the help of soapy water so once you get that all pushed down go ahead and take it off Ooh, you can see there got a little bubble I'm gonna be careful this does have over laminate on it shouldn't stretch too much very careful with that Make sure you don't stretch it out too much And take our grid paper and you'll go back so you guys can see this part lay it over again on another letter make sure it comes up with it i'll center up on the center of that r it's the easiest area to focus on you can kind of view the whole thing at once your eyes won't shift from side to side. That time I was able to see the bubbles a lot better. There we go. Pushing it around the corners, making sure those corners are adhering to the letter. Grab my B, press down firmly, make sure it comes up. Now I can get rid of that paper. And then you're gonna focus on this inner part as well. Push down in the middle and we'll push over to the left. Push it over to the right. Pull it off. And there you have it. All area 51 in the center with white on the outside. Move all this stuff and then I'll give you a quick view of it. And I will not publish this video without the night shots. So we'll get those tonight and then I will publish this entire video. Very reflective, very cool. Should look good at night when you're out about either at a, a car meet, uh, parking in downtown, enjoying a nice night at a restaurant or something. Anytime at night when you come back and look at your car and there's a little light on it, it's gonna be really cool. Um, other things we're doing right now, trying to test out our ox beam setup we are going to distribute these but we're also going to uh, offer some labels if these work out so that's another thing i gotta test out at night so let's flash forward to nighttime and see how this looks there we have it bam fast forward it is nighttime you can see the glow in the dark because it has not been charged in a while it's kind of the the same uh white color as we get in the normal uh, daylight, if we hit that with light for a little bit, it would uh, glow, of course, just like all the other pictures you might have seen on our website. But if the light source is directly behind you or directly in front of you and viewing and going out at the same angle, that's when the intensity is the highest on these. We shift to the side a little, you'll, you'll see it catch the light, but certain angles, it actually becomes pretty darn intense so pretty cool that's exactly what i believe our customer wanted out of the reflective uh vinyl here so if that's something you're interested in just look on our website we'll have it there please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with 
for all of these vehicles.